Hi, so I wanted to show you how to access Canvas. Now Canvas has a lot of resources that we're not going to talk about because they're not applicable to this course. Um, so here's what's going to happen. When you log in, you're going to see something similar to this. This obviously isn't our course, but it's going to be very similar. So what you're going to do is every week you're going to go to the week module. So week one, you go to week one module, etc. We're going to go ahead and skip ahead to this week five module for this course. So during week five, we're going to click on this material. And what it's going to do is it's going to tell us how to prepare. Okay, and then what we need to do. So to prepare for this course, they had to read the textbook, watch a video, and print out these notes. So if you click these hyperlinks, first what this one will do is it will take you to the website where they need to log in in order to access the textbook. Okay, For you guys, you're going to be watching the um, My Stat Lab video and that will show you how to access the textbook there. We're not going to cover that in this video. Next, in this class, they had to watch lecture videos just like you guys will have to do. Now when you click on that, these lecture videos are going to come up and when you click on them, it'll take you to the lecture videos. Okay, this might be different um, depending on what module you're in. So for example, if we click on this module here and we click on the videos, that will open these videos up and they're already ready to play. Now, if you want to watch these um, on a bigger screen, what you can do is right click and go copy video URL, paste it in a new window, and we'll start the video here in actual YouTube. Now, going back to that week five module, not only do we have links that are going to have us go to a textbook or video, we're also going to have links that take us to documents. So here we have notes. Okay, some of these notes are gonna be filled out. Some of them might be blanks so that you can print them and write on them as you follow along with the lecture videos. So if we click on this, it'll automatically upload and ask us if we want to download it. We're not gonna do that right now. Now the other thing is the to-do. So what these to-dos will do is they will take you to the um, assignments or the website you need to go to in order to complete the assignment. So for example, here they had an exam. So if I click on that exam, it will take them to the exam in Canvas. As well, when you have assignments through Canvas, there will be like a little submit or upload button typically up here in this right-hand corner. All right, so the other thing I wanted to show you, other than the weekly thing, is that you can also access your grades. So if we go to grades, what that's going to do is it's going to list all of my assignments, and as well, on this right-hand side, it tells me how my grade is calculated. So in this course, instead of having um, just an add-up of all the points, what it has is that each assignment is weighted differently. Now. The neat thing about the gradebook in Canvas is let's say that I haven't completed an assignment yet and I want to just kind of play with it and see what my grade would be. So for example here, let's say I had done this weekly wrap up and it's out of three points and let's say I just want to know what would happen if I got two points. If I scroll down to the bottom, it will tell me my new grade. Okay, and then let's say that I want to undo this, I can just hit this back button right here. Okay, and it will undo that for me. The other thing I wanted to show you is if you go to at OC, what this is going to do is it's going to have a plethora of resources available to you at OC. So for example, accessibility and accommodations. So for example, let's say that you were blind and you need alternative testing, you can go here to get registered. Academic support, that would be like tutoring and stuff, student resources, tech support, um, basically anything that you could want. We also have e-tutoring available. This is free and it is also 24-7, um, so if you open this in a new tab, you can follow along there to get registered. Also, I am famous for spamming your inbox with um, announcements, notifications, um, updates, things like that. So on this left-hand side, if you go to your inbox, okay, I can't access this because I'm in student view and I also wouldn't access it if I wasn't just for um, privacy sake of my other students, but that's where you will see emails from me. 
All right, if you have any issues at all, um, feel free to send me an email. No matter what it is, I can help you, especially if it's trying to upload an assignment, navigating Canvas, or navigating my stat lab.